So this is a video I've been wanting to make since I started medical school. I didn't know what I was going to be applying to, but by the time you guys know, I will be applying to a family medicine residency. Um, in this video, I kind of wanted to go over some of my thought process on deciding what specialty to pick and some of the concerns about family medicine that I have done some research on myself. All right, so let's get some of the pros out of the way right off the bat. You know, family medicine is one of those specialties where you get to make those long-term relationships. You know, you can take care of kiddos to adults into their uh, elderly years, and I really enjoy that. And I know it's a little bit cliche, but I think once you have been through a few rotations, and you have seen a few patient populations, you kind of figure out what you like working with. And I found myself really enjoying from peds to all the adult to like the stroke service to all the people are doing surgery on. So I truly did like taking care of people from all ages. Second, why family medicine? It really actually just fits my personality. You know, I was actually holding out until surgery because I believe that I was actually really going to enjoy surgery I have always been like, you know, on the farm, I always did a lot of the welding and the fence stuff. When I worked as a veterinary technician, I loved being on the surgeries, helping out suturing. And I still really do love all that stuff, but I realized that it's not what I need to be happy in medicine. Uh, I was actually really hoping that, you know, if I did like surgery, that I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. And that just wasn't the case when I went through surgery. I saw some really insane, amazing, awesome cases and surgeons and the work they do is incredible. And I, I do think that I could do it, but it's not what I want to do. Uh, you know, I grew up, I watched all those Grey's Anatomy, all that scrub stuff, and it was awesome. I was like, dang, that is sick. And it, it is sick, guys. Anybody that wants to be a surgeon and that's the stuff you want to do, it is freaking awesome. But it's not the kind of medicine that I want to practice, I realized. You know, being in the OR isn't the only place I wanted to be in the world. Uh, I enjoyed clinic as well. And that was kind of like another just like eye-opening experience for me. Going into medical school, a lot of people knew I wanted to do like peds. You know, that's kind of what I shared. And then I was, you know, like maybe doing some critical care and stuff. Valley medicine was always there. And I just learned that I could do a lot of what I love in family medicine. And after my surgery rotation... I realized that family medicine is where I need to be. And also, you know, when I told my family members, my, my older sister, I was like, yo, so I think I'm choosing family medicine and I want to do rural family medicine. And she's like, of course you do, bro. Like, like they knew it. I guess it was just like up to me to really decide if surgery was something I wanted to do. Um, and you know, there are like some more rural surgery options, but it's not what I want to do. One of the coolest things about family medicine that a lot of people actually don't know is that you can actually do a ton of procedures in family medicine. You know, you can do everything from like some small derm excision surgeries, you know, like excise some basal cell carcinomas of a person and actually just cure them in the outpatient setting when you send that in for a biopsy. That's like in a small example, you know, all the injections you guys have heard. You know, like the intra-articular injections for the shoulder, for the knees, etc. Uh, a really cool one that I got to be a part of were vasectomies. Family medicine doctors, if they're trained, they can do vasectomies in the outpatient setting. And it's such a cool, like easy, fast, simple procedure, uh, which I really enjoy doing. And then with family medicine, what I like is the scope of medicine. And there is kind of a concern about just mid-level providers and like rural family medicine and just how they're going to come into the picture. But as a family medicine doctor, you can literally do everything. I really enjoyed my OBGYN rotation. And that's actually kind of when I, when like my ears perked up towards family medicine. When I was on OBGYN, I loved it so much. I love taking care of the women, you know, helping them birth their babies and all that stuff. And that's when I was like, oh, wow. Like I, I knew I would like peds. I didn't think I'd enjoy OBGYN and I can't I don't think I could be an OBGYN. That takes a special kind of person, but I could do a lot of OBGYN in family medicine. And that's when like the light bulb went off a little bit and put it really high on my radar. I don't know if a few of you caught on that. And then I went through my peds. Obviously I loved it. We all knew I was gonna love it. Uh, and then I went through family medicine, thrived through family medicine. And then I did my surgery and that's when I was like, 
all right, this isn't what I need to do for my life. And then now I'm gonna go into a few of like this, the future of what I see myself doing. So I'm choosing rural family medicine because I do want to go back to the farm, honestly. I don't like being in the city. Uh, a lot of people love living in the city and that's just not who I am. And living here, you know, I got to experience it, but it's just not for me. Uh, I've also just thought about like, you know, what do I want to be doing when I'm like 50 years old? And for me, that's like being the rural family med town doc, uh, you know, on my farm with my sheep and my horses, with my dogs and my wife and my kids. That just sounds so amazing to me. That's where I want to be. That's, that's where I want to be so bad. Um, and that's like just a projection of where do you see yourself in, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. That is my vision for my life. Uh, and it's just like so beautiful in your mind. And that's kind of what I'm chasing now. Uh, when I get, when I was a pre-med, I was chasing getting into medical school, being a doctor, but I, I didn't really have a, a vision like past that. Like, okay, what do you do when you're a doctor? And now that I'm in medical school, gone through my rotations, like interacting with some of the residents and their thoughts. And this is like my, my vision. Uh, and that's just, it's such a great place to be. It's such good, positive thoughts to have. And I'm still a long ways away from there, you know, but that just sounds beautiful to me. And then just a few other thoughts, you know, in family medicine, there are some fellowships you can apply to the most popular being like addiction, some OBGYN and sports medicine. I was really interested in the OBGYN fellowship. However, I think that where I want to live geographically, um, we will see like kind of where I end up. But if I don't live too far away from like an, a metropolitan city, an urban city or something, it wouldn't make sense for me to do that training. Like that training should go to somebody that's actually going to live like more remotely without the availability of these of those OB services. Um, but that's still up in the air because I really do enjoy the OB portion uh, so much. So I'm still thinking about that. But I will also be doing a sports medicine elective coming up. And sports medicine is interesting, you know. I want to live on the farm out in the like local communities. There's a lot of high schools, you know, high school sports that sports medicine would make a lot of sense being out in the rural setting. But also I start I think a lot about like the rodeo athletes, you know, they get injured a lot too. And that would kind of be an interesting take on the sports medicine, you know, it might not be as traditional sports medicine when people think of sports medicine, but you know, I could take care of that population, especially where I'm going. There's a lot of like rodeo athletes, but then a lot of, you know, trade skilled workers that get injured on the job and sports medicine fellowship can really like transcend into these areas. So I can really take care of these people, you know, just because they're not a basketball player and they hurt their knee while they're out welding or something. Uh, it makes sense that I could really take care of them out where I go back in my community and that just, that, that sounds so good to me. Uh, does it sound good to y'all? I don't know. That's just a, a thought I've been having. All right. And last, I almost forgot one of the biggest factors why students choose not to go into family medicine is compensation and money. Uh, so I went to medicine, not because of money, but because I want to be a doctor, even though I didn't know what that meant. And as I've gone through medical school and I've accrued these student loans and I'm thinking of starting a family, money is really important. You know, you're a little bit naive as a pre-med, I think, to think that it's not going to matter, but it really does. But I'm still going to go into family medicine, even though it's one of the least uh, compensated specialties uh, by a lot of accounts. And that's what, that's why a lot of medical school students choose not to do it. However, Valley Medicine still gets compensated well. Like if you look online at the salaries in your local places, you're gonna be surprised, I think, by how much a family medicine physician can earn. Um, and that's under large groups. You know, I don't know if I would join like an already established group. There's a few out to where I wanna live. Uh, I think that's a good option. Or you could even start private practice. Everybody knows private practice physicians usually make more money, although there's like a lot more responsibility and the whole business aspect. Um, that's something I m might look forward to when I'm done and I think it would be awesome. But you know, we'll get to that, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And 
I just had to talk a little bit about the compensation because uh, I think that's what deters a lot of medical students from pursuing family medicine uh, or even thinking about family medicine. But these are my thoughts on why I want to be a family medicine doctor. If you guys want to follow my journey and see what it's like to go through a family medicine residency and being a family medicine doctor out in the rural community, make sure to subscribe and follow. It's still going to be a long road. I'm still going to share my journey as much as I can. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching, hanging out with me. Uh, we'll see you. I don't know what my next video is going to be, honestly. We'll see.